in this shot we want to walk you through the anatomy of the pharynx pharynx is a muscular tube that starts from the base of the skull here and ends to the esophagus right there which is almost at the level of the cricoid cartilage right of one of the cartilage of the larynx okay this muscular tube posteriorly is associated with the cervical spine as you can see and then anteriorly is connected to three cavities the nasal cavity here right the oral cavity right here and the larynx then therefore we have three parts for the pharynx the nasopharynx right here the oropharynx and the laryngopharynx let's zoom in and look at the um, close-up of the nasopharynx here is a close-up of the of the nasopharynx um, nasopharynx which is located behind the nasal cavity is from the base of the skull to the soft palate anteriorly is connected to the nasal cavity through this opening quana and then on the roof of the nasopharynx we have the aggregation of the lymphoid tissue under the mucous membrane known as pharyngeal tonsil however the pharyngeal tonsil at this age um, Oh, it is active at the earliest stage of life but now is replaced with the connective tissue on the lateral wall of nasopharynx you can see that opening that is the opening of eustachian tube or pharyngotympanic tube that connects the nasopharynx to the middle ear and you can imagine that it helps to equalize the pressure on both sides of the eardrum or tympanic membrane In this shot, we want to walk you through two muscles which are associated with the, or are close to the opening of the eustachian tube. Um, so let's um, um, orient ourselves again. Of course, this is a nasopharynx. Please ignore the, the um, nasal cavity here. That is a deep dissection of the nasal cavity. That's why you cannot see the conchae. So let's zoom in here. And if you can hold this, um, okay, perfect, thank you for me that's great okay so if we can zoom in here of course this is soft palate right that is the open opening of the station tube two muscles we can see here one is this one right right there my probe is underneath that is the levator veli palatini and you can imagine it comes from the eustachian tube or the bottom part of the eustachian tube and inserts to the soft palate then it elevates the soft palate and one muscle anterior to that right here which is tensor veli palatine if we can zoom in here a little bit more that um, we can see better view of the muscle go in go in please thank you okay so now i usually tell my students that the tensor veli palatini has a good landmark it has a shiny tendon you see that the shiny tendon so now my probe is under that under the tensor veli palatini then it goes down and then um, it horizontally comes to the soft palate to pull the soft palate to the to the sides so two muscles associated with the opening of the eustachian tube In this shot, we want to walk you through the anatomy of the oropharynx. So the oropharynx, the, the superior border of the oropharynx is the soft palate. Then this is soft palate. And at the posterior border of the soft palate, we can, we can see the uvula right here. So then it starts from soft palate and ends to the epiglottis. That is the epiglottis of the, of the larynx. Then these are the superior inferior bound boundaries then posteriorly of course is associated with the spine but anteriorly to the oral cavity which is here now on the lateral wall of the oropharynx we can find two actually mucosal fold if we can zoom in here uh, have a little bit okay perfect that's that's good that's enough okay let me move that here okay now we have a mucosal fold which is this one right there stretched between the soft palate and the wall of the pharynx that is called palato pharyngeal fold this one and then anteriorly right here 
we have a fold stretch between soft palate and the tongue. This is called palatoglossal fold. Good to know that within these folds we have muscles. Then palatoglossus muscle in the palatoglossal fold and palatopharyngeus muscle within the palatopharyngeal fold. Between these two folds we have a fossa known as palatine fossa and this is palatine tonsil which is located in the palatine fossa. Also the other thing that we need to, rem to consider here is the fact that oral cavity which is right here is separated from the, the, this part of the pharynx by, by oropharyngeal isthmus. That isthmus actually has the anterior posterior margins. The anterior one is the palatoglossal fold and posterior is the palatopharyngeal um, fold. In regards to the laryngopharynx, you can imagine this area is, or this part of the pharynx is behind the um, larynx. And um, then just for your orientation, this is the larynx and that is epiglottis of larynx. So then laryngopharynx is a stretch between epiglottis right here to the esophagus. That is um, almost at the level of the um, cricoid cartilage of larynx. This is cricoid cartilage of larynx. Now, um, anteriorly, the laryngopharynx um, is connected to the laryngeal inlet, which is right here, that opens to the larynx. And then on each side of this opening, we have an impression right there, known as preform recess. And sometimes uh, food actually can be stuck in the preform recess. Okay, in regards to um, the innervation of the pharynx, I have a good tip actually to share with you guys. Um, remember uh, the nasopharynx anterior to that is nasal cavity. The innervation of the nasal cavity is V2 or maxillary branch of the cranial nerve fiber, right? So then the nasal cavity, the nasopharynx is innervated by V2. Of course, we are talking about the general sensory. Then posterior part of the tongue, posterior one third of the tongue is supplied by cranial nerve 9. Then oropharynx is innervated by cranial nerve 9. And the last but not least, the larynx is innervated by cranial nerve 10 or vagus nerve. Then laryngopharynx is innervated by cranial nerve 10 as well. Then innervation, sensory innervation is V2, cranial nerve 9, or glossopharyngeal nerve and vagus nerve. When it comes to the muscle innervation, uh, the all muscles of the pharynx are supplied by uh, cranial nerve 10, except the stylopharyngeus. This is the posterior view um, of the of the pharynx. So then the wall of the pharynx has been opened. Practically, this is um, the or these are the uh, pharyngeal constrictor muscles. Okay, and then we have opened the pharynx from the posterior side, so we can see the this is the soft palate. So then, uh, nasopharynx is here. It's not easy to see deep down there, and then here is the oropharynx and laryngopharynx. Okay, what we want to focus on this um, prosection is the relationship between the pharynx and the neurovascular bundle on the sides of the pharynx. So let's orient ourselves to the neurovascular bundle. This is the internal jugular vein. Then we have the internal carotid artery here. And this one is vagus nerve. And as you recall, these structures actually are within carotid sheath in the neck region, right? And by the way, that is the external carotid artery, but we want to focus on internal carotid. And also posterior to them, we have the sympathetic chain, and this is the uh, superior cervical ganglion. We have better ganglion actually on this side, right here. That is the sympathetic chain is being cut, and that is superior cervical ganglion. Okay. Now, one of the structures that we want to um, actually associate with the pharynx here on the side, um, or two muscles and the nerve, okay? Um, this is actually branch of the vagus nerve, 
goes to the wall of the pharynx, then um, then the inner the muscle the innervation of the muscles of the pharynx, cranial nerve 10, right? Now we are gonna actually zoom in here in this area. If you can zoom in here, please. Um, right there, I can see two muscles. Okay, perfect. So if you can hold it like that, beautiful. Okay, that's great. Okay, so this muscle is stylo pharyngeus muscle and this nerve runs with that is cranial nerve 9 glossopharyngeal remember the only pharyngeal muscles that's supplied by cranial nerve 9 is a stylopharyngeus muscle we also have another muscle here right there that is a styloglossus okay styloglossus then two muscles on the sides of the pharynx here so um, I can not resist to not show you the muscles on this side also. So here is the stylopharyngeus muscle right there, and that is the cranial nerve 9, glossopharyngeal nerve. Okay, and a styloglossus here. So then these are the actually relationship between the pharynx and the soft tissue on the sides of the, of the pharynx. Thank you.